fight me. Hello and welcome to Bite, Bite me. me. I'm Julia Steyer. And I'm Bacola Ogunmola. And I love vampires. And I do not. And today we are recording our season three finale. <laughs> um, we are, you know, it really took us like a year and a half to get here. And that's okay. And that's okay. We appreciate your patience. And we promise it'll be worth it because yeah. today we are watching Vampires Suck. Suck. Did you hear me trying to do a sucking sound? It did not work. Very Let's well. not do sucking well. sounds on the um, radio. Yeah, yeah thank you right. so much. And let's not do that on the podcast um, anymore. Wh- why don't you tell us what Vampire Suck is all about, Miss Bacola? All right. We have it pulled up because we are prepared today. <laughs> um, <laughs> Becca, an angst-ridden teenager, is torn between two supernatural suitors, Vampire Edward and Werewolf Jacob. Oh, they don't even change. I love how they just changed the protagonist's Becca, name. Yeah. That's so funny. But she must find a way to evade her controlling father, who treats her like a helpless child. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm so excited. So in case you couldn't tell, this is in fact a Twilight parody. Um, I do think it is hilarious that the only name they've changed so far is Bella's to Becca. I love that. And I love how Charlie is now controlling because in the books, he, he's truly like, uh, do whatever you do want. Do whatever you want. I, I don't know how to have a daughter. I know you're having a t- tough time. So you go out with your friends and you do, you do hood rat things. You go to La Push, baby. It's, La push. I don't know what she's saying. Yes, you do. You have seen Twilight. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying. What are you talking about? Who's La push? This no, that's the Indian reservation. Oh, yeah. really? Wow, I didn't know that. Like, Is that real? Just like forks, spoons, the cutlery <laughs> town. I do, I swear I have a friend from Forks and we keep meaning to have her on this podcast. And I'm saving New Moon for her so she can come and be like. Because I felt like New Moon. You get more of a full tour of forks. You get mm. you get the reservation. You get the forest. You get the town, and then it, they randomly go to Italy. So yeah, <laughs> you I'm did know that, right? You, just, you read them, right? I always you. forget. Yes, I've read them. You give me so much shit that I just assumed. Oh yeah, no, but I read them, and that's why I can judge them so harshly. <laughs> <laughs> I've done this on purpose. Oh my god, um, she came prepared. I did. She was like, Shots "I don't talk fired. bad unless I know what I'm talking about." Hey, beow, 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 beow. Beow. No, but um, the Spoon Town. But anyway, I'm very excited <laughs> about here. this because this feels like my movie. Like we both are aware of what Twilight is. We both have our feelings about it. And first of all, don't be coming for Charlie like that. Yeah, that's what, Charlie, Charlie is the best. Charlie is the best. We recently rewatched it, and by recently, I mean a year and a half ago. <laughs> Two, maybe two years ago now. Um, it was season one finale, right? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This has been a long time. We've been doing this a hot minute. Yeah, we have. Been and I love it. Look at oh that. my gosh. Okay, but yeah, I remember watching it and being like, yo, Charlie's a short A. Like, he, I, I would be in there like, hey, she was girl. ready to wife him up. I was ready. I was like, you need a step mommy? <laughs> Girl, I'll teach you how to season chicken. Let's go. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Dang, this is going to be on the internet. <laughs> dead. No. She, Bacola came to Forks and she brought garlic salt and everyone lost their mind. I love that you thought a black person, you thought garlic salt? No, because it's from, that's from the, uh, TikTok I sent you. It was like a woman. She was like, white men are so easy. Oh, I just yes. introduced him to garlic salt and now he thinks I'm a goddess. <laughs> Garlic salt is delicious, though. But I was like, dang, you wasn't even gonna, you know, put any like those like. I'm uh, white. Uh, I don't have other spices to offer. Up. Okay, you're right. My bad. This is this was white girl commentary. I ain't mad at what it. What spice would you bring? I don't know, like uh, like some Maggie, something real. See, I don't even know what that is. Yeah, it's uh, in my mind is real Nigerian, but it's not ours. I was it's gonna ask ours. you. I was like, are those on Nigerian peanuts? Which guys, if you've never oh had Nigerian gosh. peanuts, oh my god, I should have brought them. They're over so for you. good. I don't know what it is. I told my my parents about that, and they were like, "What?" I was like, "Mommy, I have not had one of these." It's she was like, seriously. You're I was like, like, remember that little white girl? Yeah. She loves, she loves them. these. And my mom was like, oh, I'll bring her more next time we yes. come. So they're going to bring you your own. Shout out to Beatrice. <laughs> Word. Real one. Hi, Which, mommy. Oh, my God. I've we met have- Bacola's parents. Yes, she has. <gasps> it was so exciting. I was so excited. Time. I'm obsessed with them. And they're time. so sweet. And yeah, yeah. I just love them. Yeah. They brought us mimosas. You uh, bought us mimosas. Oh, did uh, they? No. Oh, on I, their card? On their card. You didn't see me come back in and go, money, please. Money, and my dad please. rolled his eyes and gave me his credit card. And it was the best moment of my life. <laughs> and I brought all my favorite white women. It was a good time. And my favorite thing, though, is that um Nicola's dad, like, we haven't touched the alcohol yet. It's 10 minutes in. And he goes, you are all the youngest daughters. 
and who moved across the country. What, what are, are you, you running, running from? from? And I was like, well, damn, Richard, I don't know. Uh, can we have, can you pour me some mimosa before I get the trauma dump? Like, uh, holy crap. Yeah, he's right. He's still, he's still, a and he did salty. not back down. No. He did not back down. He's I like salty. laughed thinking it was a joke and he's he was not, like, I am serious. serious. And he, I was like, oh, he wants information. <laughs> he is still salty that I left. He's like, why aren't you coming? Keep in mind, this man up and moved to Nigeria. Yeah, he doesn't so, like, live in New York. He doesn't live in New York. <laughs> like, he's just mad. <laughs> like, Bacola may have moved far, and he said, bet, I got a I'll one go, up. I'll, yes, I will move further. We're not even going to be, you know, anywhere near the same time zone. And they but did anyway. welcome me and Tessa to Nigeria with open arms. Yes. We'll take you with us to our trip to my parents' house, because they'll just make you do local stuff. They're not going to be like, this is the forest Hell and the blah, yeah. blah, blah. This is the pretty thing. They'll be like, this is my cat. Oh. And these are my three That's dogs. That's what my parents are like when they come to L.A. And it's it's actually really cute. They're like, we've seen L.A. We want to see Julia's L.A. Yeah. So I'm like, here's Dupar's, the 24-hour pancake house. Like, <laughs> I love that. Not Like, we're not doing – like, what, where did I take them the other day? I took them to, like, a, a concert at the Hotel Cafe. Oh, yes, like, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was supposed to go, but I was supposed to go, and she uh, bailed. I did. I'm so sorry. It would have been so fun. You Surely know I love said, Randy, Randy and Catherine. and Catherine, bye. I love that. Which, I'm so mad I didn't get a picture with Beatrice and, and Richard. That's true. Oh, my God. But I didn't know how to be like, can it be just us and not the other two white girls and not your daughter? No, you could have said that just like that, and my parents would have been like, ha-ha, yes. <laughs> Seriously, the the amount of times I've introduced my parents, I'm like, guys, this is my boyfriend. Oh and my the poor God. dude is looking like, what? He's stressed. And my dad is like, young man. I'm like, daddy. <gasps> I do that so often. Like, it's a on, like, an ongoing joke. Like, it's bad. So the point where my mom ignores me, my brother and my dad are the worst because they'll be like, yeah, how long you been with <gasps> my sister? And they're like, um, um, because they don't want to, because like, it's usually a friend of mine who's not that close. Oh, your brother's tall. Uh yeah, my oldest brother. So you got like tall. three men like towering over. Yeah, him. but my my brother my brother Sam is not like super tall. My brother Sam is maybe like five ten. Um, so it's just, but he's like a very like broy dude. Bro. Yeah, What's yeah, your yeah. other brother's name? I always forget. Ralph. Yeah. I don't think I knew that until this moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Ralph, Rachel, and Sam are my siblings, and then my parents are Richard and Beatrice. Where the Who hell, the hell is Rebecca? Rebecca? Rebecca's my niece. Oh. My niece. And she's my most popular niece. Everyone knows Rebecca. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. My brother's name is Ralph. He no, is and I do. Ralph. And I do love the story that you tell of your parents were like, yeah, but Bacola was born in America. She's an American. She needs a Nigerian, a Nigerian name. name. So people know that she's Nigerian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like, all you other people were born in Nigeria. So we know. <laughs> you get an American name. It's fine. <laughs> You're okay. I'm like, wow. <laughs> Really saved the best for last. Oh my god, that's iconic. Yeah, that's so iconic. Anyway, now that we've delved into my family, oh history, yeah, yeah, should we talk about the movie? Maybe. Yeah. So, I'm. What are you excited to see about vampires? Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna have so much fun. I, I think something that you and I both enjoy is when we feel like we're in on the joke. Yes. And like we've gotten that a lot because we've seen so many vampire movies. Yeah. This time it's gonna be a direct like joke. correlation yes. of like uh-huh. aha. There's the source material. There is the joke. Yes. And we get it. Yeah. We won't have to work so hard. <laughs> no. But I think that there will be some jokes that, like, the general, the gen pop won't get. That, like, oh, us as vampire fanatics, is- and I am not counting myself as that, but someone who has been uh, involved in the vampire education of sorts mm. will recognize that maybe people because it'll be a joke movie but then there'll be a layer that's yes. just specifically for diehard fans of vampires and then there'll be another layer for diehard fans of twilight, twilight. and you know it's actually funny i will laugh so hard i wish we were watching with someone who didn't know like vampires only because i'd be so curious to see Ooh. if there were things like exactly like you were saying that were vampire based and not twilight based and the twilight fan didn't get it because then it would expose that twilight is not really like <laughs> quality vampire yeah. lore oh we should have gotten Nikhil back oh my god Nikhil would have been so upset with us he's like why am i here no but we needed the opposite we needed a diehard twilight fan who didn't know anything oh. about vampires so they could be like i know vampires i love twilight you know a la me yes I'm like, but well, I, I've learned. You. I've since learned. I've yeah. since learned. But it's just like I don't know any. No offense, no one in our age range, obviously eighteen to twenty-five, and no one else in our age range that still likes Twilight. I don't. I don't like it. Like that's the thing. So then you don't like. I vampires. don't like it. You heard no. it here. No, first. no, no, no. no. It took I me love vampires. I, I love. Got her. I love vampires. <laughs> like Vampire Academy is my shit. I don't like 
Twilight. However, it is such an integral part of my DNA. It's not. It is. Like, that's like being like, Julia, do you like having blue eyes? It doesn't matter, Bacola. I have them. No, it's it not. It doesn't matter. Okay. I grew up with Twilight. I can't get rid of it. It is in my bones. You know what's funny about that? I wanted to say, no, it's not. And then I thought about your partner. <laughs> and that's the end of the statement. Please go check our Instagram for a photo of Julia and her partner. I will. I'm dead. I was able to keep in the so part where we <laughs> talk about. Uh, yes, he is undead. Thank you very he much. Undead. Yeah, I'm, love you, I'm dating I'm so a sorry. vampire. I'm so and sorry, James. Even though he does not drink blood, to our knowledge, <laughs> to our <laughs> knowledge, convinced. Who knows? You've seen his kitchen. The I thing that know. the thing that drives me crazy, and I may have already said this on this podcast, but Danny, one of our old guests, <gasps> oh, one Danny. time. I was like telling him, I, he, okay, he met James because James and I went to a birthday party that Danny was at. Oh, nice. And I made a joke to Danny and I was like, oh my gosh, Danny, like this is my vampire. Like he, he hates the sun. And Danny goes, oh, that's the guy you were talking about when we recorded our podcast. And I was like, that's so weird. We weren't no, dating yet. And then I was like, oh my yet. God. No, you were referring to the other vampire oh I was gosh. dating. Oh my gosh. I forgot about him. Yeah. So, oh my and, gosh. And I've then, also been to his home. Uh, yeah. Oh, jeez, Louise. And so, and so, and then Danny looks at me, looks at James and goes, I'm so sorry. And James just, I think, thank God, James just laughs. James just James like. James is really cool and has a sense of humor and understands that she has a type. But he didn't know that he, she, he was her type. Yeah, we didn't know he fit. We, we thought that this was a, an against all odds pairing. Yeah. We did not know that I was just. You just found him. Found, found him. each other. He was like, you know, how does it feel to date a blonde man? I'm like, don't ask me that question. I'm not happy about it, but here we are. I'm trying to convince him he's actually a redhead. Stop it. He's not a redhead. He Do is. not guess like that man is thinking. He's a redhead. He's a redhead. He's got strawberry. He's blonde. a strawberry. He's a strawberry blonde man. Okay, James, the, we know you're listening and <laughs> and we appreciate you and thank you again so much for coming on the podcast. Although you're saying time. thank you so much for dating Julia. That too. That too. But, yeah, um, very yeah Bacola and James gang up on me all the time. But so Deservedly. Debatable. <laughs> Anyway, so what I'm looking forward to in this movie is, oh, but you know what is going to be, I just realized, you know, a trope I don't think ever comes up in Twilight what? is garlic mm. or crosses. Because there's that whole thing where Carlisle has a cross in his house oh. from his like early days as like a minister's son or something. Oh, I don't know you would a fan. I don't know. I forgot. No, <laughs> I told you I don't like it. I just am it. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I I have no idea. Yeah. But crosses, I understand because they wanted it to be mainstream media, and if they put cross that they were allergic to crosses, then a lot of the like you wouldn't have been able to go. Yeah, I would have. Catherine, Catherine would, would not, not have no, let that happen. Catherine would not have cared. What I think is like, of course, there were no um crosses. There were no. Well, she's like, and she's very heavily Mormon. So I wonder if that oh, too was, was something part of it. Where she was like, no, I don't want to do this to my own. Y- you know, like I want, I want my community to be able to enjoy this. Ah. And my sushi's on the way. Okay, Julia Sushi's on the way, and we're gonna go watch a movie. Wait, wait, no, tell me more. What What are you expecting, and what are you like? What just what are you hoping out of it? I'm expecting Jacob to have fleas. <gasps> That's really funny, actually. <laughs> I'm expecting. Wait, do you think he'll be a werewolf in this though? Yes, because he doesn't turn into a werewolf until the second book. I don't think that the the Vampire Sucks franchise really <laughs> thought that deeply about it. <laughs> I think he's gonna turn immediately. I think he's gonna chase his own tail. I think they're gonna make him full dog. <laughs> I think I hope he turns into a chihuahua. I can't stand you. That's so funny. I'm angry about it. <laughs> like what? That's so good. I love when I make a joke that actually lands. It just makes Vicola mad because she's like, now I have to listen to all your jokes in case one's good and yeah. most of them aren't. Oh my gosh! No, you're actually really funny. But like that was smart funny. Like <laughs> that that got me. Like that was just like what? <laughs> like my brain, my brain caught up later and i'm like damn that was good um anywho um uh uh i I just looked at the bite me needle point anyway sorry i got distracted anyway uh i want um what's his name edward i want edward to be like like i want the highlight to only be on his cheeks so it looks like he had like it's a full beat oh my god um i want i want Charlie, I want Charlie, Charlie to be like smoking hot. Like I Ooh. want him to be like ripped and almost confusingly close in age to the rest of the cast. <laughs> I can't stand you. 
I, <laughs> there's a lot of things I want. I want. I, I want, want sexual tension between Carlisle and Charlie. Uh, that's great. I love that. I love that. I want Bella. I want Bella to end up with uh Anna Kendrick's. Oh my character. god, Jessica. Jessica dead. Because you know Jessica has to be in it, even though she was not an important part. That I remember watching the fourth movie. And I like, I remember blinking twice and the fourth movie's over because I forgot they broke it into two parts, but I only saw part two by mistake. <laughs> um, but I watched the end of it and Anna Kendrick comes back and I was like, where has she, she been? Does. What? Were you the one that told me she forgot she was in that movie? Yes. She was like, I forgot I was in the fourth one. I came in the last week. Everyone's exhausted. Everyone's so tired. They're filming like their wedding sequence. And I'm just like, and then she had this like two page monologue apparently that That's she had to right. do. That's right. That's right. And she was like, and I was looking around and everyone looked so tired. And I had just flown in. I was refreshed. I had had days to like learn my lines and sleep. Oh my God. She was like, I felt so bad, but I feel like I really did some good work. And I was like, of course, Anna. Good job. So, so yeah. Funny. I just, yeah. I just want it to be chaos. <laughs> I want none of it to make sense, but I want the editing to be so good that, like, the acting can be comical. Because they got some good actors in it. Do they? Who's in it? Um, I saw Chelsea from That's So Raven is in it <gasps> randomly. Stop. I love her. Um, who else is in it? Matt Lauter. Lauter? He's hot. I remember him being very cute. <laughs> I have no idea who this man he's is. Lanter? Lanter. He was in 90210. Or Lanter. You're right. Um, he's the main character. He's the main character in the show. Ma'am, can you stop hitting sorry, our sorry, shield? Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> he, was in, he was the main character in the show Timeless. He was in the show called Star Cross Lovers, which I really loved. He's the main character in Cutting Edge. I've never heard of any of these. What are you talking about? What do you do? What are you these are, these are, you never heard of 90210? Oh, yeah, I've heard of 90210. Timeless, great show. No, I have not heard of a single I know one. that, that dude is in LA theater and we, we see him around, because oh, really? we see him lot, around a lot. Yeah. Star Cross Lovers. It was really good. It was a show about like half aliens, half people. And then they were Star Cross Lovers and each episode was a line from Romeo and Juliet. That's e- cute. Each episode's name was a line from Romeo and Juliet. It was really cute. I liked it a lot. Did it work or was it just like kitschy? It was a CW show. Oh, bless. And it was at the time where I loved a, loved CW shows. He was in The Roommate. Do you remember this? I never saw it. And he was I do Minka remember. Kelly's boyfriend and Ali Mashaka was in it. Ugh, whatever. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. Back to the movie. Back to the movie. Anyway, so I just want, I want chaos. I want debauchery i want cacophony i want trigonometry you know? i'm curious to see if we will agree with this casting better than the original movie that's hilarious what what didn't i like about the original movie's casting and he- no i don't know it was all just like a slightly off or something and like really? i don't know what it was it was like well okay my friend jenny sent me something the other day and it was like how twilight would be cast if it had been the now? early 2000s oh. and the cast was fire it was like alice would be winona ryder oh um, that's only the main one i can remember because i love winona, winona ryder yeah that makes <laughs> but sense. but it was fantastic oh so, yeah that's why i'm like oh now i'm open to alternative castings mm, i don't know i would really love bella to be like manasa or like swana region bella that'd be dope because it'd be interesting to see what the lore would look like in that like in that culture but like the american version oh of i it. think this is that's too advanced for what we're about to oh, see. Oh, okay. You're talking mind. about something deep and beautiful and like exploring a new culture. I'm so sorry. This is a parody of Twilight. No, 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 no. You're right. You're right. I'm, 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 I'm hyping you up. I'm like, that sounds lit. That's beautiful. not what you're about to see though. No, no I need no. you to go write that. <laughs> yeah. So you can stop telling me that there's no African vampires. There aren't. So I need you to write one. Good point. Um, anyway we should go watch this movie i got sushi on the way yeah we're standing literally in my closet so we're both sweating i'm fine i'm sweating that, oh we talked about this you're always yeah. freezing i'm always like warm take it all off not in a creepy oh god anyway oh, we're gonna go watch me. it and if you want to watch it it is on um uh, prime no don't i'm not promoting them oh. it is on a uh, you should go rent it from the library okay because yeah. that's all that's those are the people i believe in me too si se puede. <laughs> mm. okay well yeah we're gonna go watch it we'll see you in a couple bye, bye. fight me And we're back. Wow, we just watched that. That was fantastic. And I just have to say right off the bat, I called Jacob turning into a chihuahua she and Macola and I screamed. screamed. Yes, he turned into a chihuahua. And I don't know what in, in Julia's spirit really 
called out to the movie makers from 12 years ago, 13 years ago to put that in. But it, yeah, you did that. I worry that that means that that's my sense of humor. Oh, you know, that might be because, and Bacola had a great point. What were you saying? You were like, it felt very 2010 because it was just like very random humor. Oh, I didn't even say that. That was Francesca. Oh, we yes. were watching it with Francesca. Francesca called out that it was, it would like had very much the humor style of like, we're going to talk. And then we're going to, like, at one point he was like, I just need someone freaky. And then it like cuts to like a Lady, Lady Gaga, Gaga impersonator. And we're just yeah. like, oh, that's, that was probably, that probably killed in 2010. Yes, they probably did. Francesca is Julia's roommate who has been on the podcast before. Just Y'all know her. Don't yeah. pretend. Yeah. Don't pretend. Unless they're just jumping in right here and they're going backwards. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. Francesca is my roommate. <laughs> Listen to all the episodes and you will hear her insight. Yes. But it was really, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. We had it's a great exactly time. what I needed. My favorite thing, and I want to say it now, is that Julia said, and I quote, this movie is showing me how, how unhinged Twilight is. <laughs> because it's like, so it starts off as basically a shot for shot recreation of Twilight. Yes. And seeing it like that, you know, and with the heightened jokes, you're like, oh, this is an absurd storyline. It's ridiculous. And one thing, though, I wasn't expecting with this one, which it, it, it kind of lost the, oh, Twilight's crazy near the end of it because they started mixing it with New Moon. Mm-hmm. And I and I, I swear, it's because it was no longer a shot-for-shot shot recreation, I it wasn't exposing the absurdity of the original one Not because it. it was so different. It was like, oh, no, 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 this thing's absurd because it's an absurd mix of both of them. Not because the source material is no, crazy. It's, the source material is crazy, <laughs> but they did start mixing it in in a way that was like, I get it. They were trying to move away so it wasn't like the complete storyline, but the shot for shots were very funny. Yeah, I, they they succeeded in those, and yeah. I think that's where it was at its strength because we yeah. kept being like, "Oh my god, this actor is nailing that person's mannerisms," yeah. or like, yeah. And I, I enjoyed the the mix of like the random Volturi. I love that they we thinking that they went to Italy. They did not go to Italy. They went to prom. They the prom was themed. And that was dropped in early on, so I didn't realize it was going to pop up later. That, yeah. Yeah. So you didn't realize that these were a bunch of high school students that were obviously like 30 year old extras. <laughs> so it was a bunch of high school students, quote unquote, dressed as, um, like the uh, saint of, I mean, the, the festival. San or Salvatore. San Salvatore. Which I wasn't festival, sure yeah. if that was supposed to be a reference to the Vampire Diaries because they're the Salvatore brothers. That's very But true. then their biology class in biology. They're, she, reading. they're reading the Vampire Diaries. Yes. And they were like, why are we reading the... She was like, why are we reading the Vampire Diaries? And they were like, because it's trendy. It's trendy. The 80s were coke. The 90s were... Grunge. Grunge. <laughs> <laughs> the, the 2000s are vampires. The one thing that did kill us, just speaking of like the trend of vampires and the height geist of vampires, so in the very beginning, they're recreating the scene in New Moon where Edward has... <laughs> It literally exposed himself in this version. He gets completely naked. Uh huh. Um, you don't see it. You see a disco ball instead. So for all of you faint of heart watchers, you will still be able to handle it. Yeah. And Bella and Becca, I guess in this one. Becca. It's mm-hmm. funny. Everybody had a different name except for Edward and Jacob. Like everybody else was like a slight twist. Yeah. Like Jessica was Jennifer. Alice was Iris. Yeah. Esme was Eden. And then it was just Edward and Edward Jacob. Jeff. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so Becca runs across, you know, the place plaza and she does the iconic i'm gonna run and save edward and she's she's going through the plaza and she's shouting edward edward and then this little girl comes out of nowhere hits her and goes hits her with a shovel and goes team jacob bitch and yeah. then another group of girls come up with all team edward shirts and they have a like epic fight battle. with like shovels and wooden planks game and- of thrones <laughs> level like it was crazy. It was just these tiny. I was expecting humans. someone to yell for Sparta. <laughs> yes, that see that is your humor. See? Oh no, you're no. in it. You're in it. But it was crazy because that callback later, how they end the movie, jumping <laughs> way further ahead, is Bella and uh, I mean Becca, Becca and Edward are are deciding to get married. He bites her to turn her into a vampire, and then. A, a little girl hits him in the head with like a like one of the a club with, with like spikes. nails coming out of it, and goes Team Jacob, bitch, and then it cuts, cuts to it. credits. And the way we all collectively yelled, I have never like wow. I watched Hereditary for the first time last weekend. This 
this top that. Wow. <laughs> wow. She was like, that you was a twist here. we never saw coming. Never saw coming. Wow. I feel like that's really big of Bacola to admit that she enjoyed something that was based off of the Twilight franchise. Oh, my gosh. Because at some points, I was like, oh, I really love the actor that plays Edward. Because he was even looking at Becca like, girl are you not listening yeah to he me? was like i i could kill you and she's like she like gets this like turned on look and he's like no what? i no, no I i'm dangerous like yeah. this is not a good idea yeah. like he was just like what's happening with this little girl i like i really like the fact that i think i felt like part of it was the actor looking at the characters like this is dumb <laughs> <laughs> and that, that i don't know something about that made me happy it felt like we were in on the joke with him um yes and- it felt like he was he was it felt like he also read the book and was like, Bella, no. Yeah. Yeah. And they did see Twilight breaking dawn. Oh my God. They see in yes. the movie. So like they didn't show the parts where they all saw it together, but the, um, but, um, Annalise who plays like the Anna. Oh yeah. Kendrick Chelsea. Character. So Chelsea, Chelsea from, from That's So Raven, Raven. Mm-hmm. plays Anna Kendrick's character. So yeah. in Twilight, it's Jessica. And in this one, it's Jennifer. Jennifer and she's, yeah. She's so great. I love her. She's so funny. She's so funny. She like fully commits. She is uh, toxic to no end. Truly, the toxicity is high, high levels of toxicity. At one point, she was like, You're not going to prom. Loser. Loser. Throws a champagne champagne bottle at her head. That's it. For what reason? For why? There was a lot of violence in this one. Oh my god. There was a lot of like, or at one point, like, uh, Becca is on top of Edward, you know, making out, and he's like, no, 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 we have to, I need to be able to control myself, I need to be able to control myself, like, if, you know, if we start this, like, I could accidentally, like, give in to my urges and kill mm. you, and she's still kissing him, she's still kissing him, he grabs the lamp from her bedside table and it smashes, smashes it in her head. It was so rude. I was like, everybody in this movie should have been dead ten times over. That's very true. But then Homegirl had the audacity to get up and be like, I like it rough. And then <laughs> rip off her clothes and have this crazy light up lingerie. Leather, it was leather, light, light up. up. It was so confusing. It was, like, it was a lot. It was a lot. And then she got thrown through the roof, but not in a fun way. Like, he literally just, like, any you her through a roof. What? I said, how is she still living at home? Charlie don't hear none of this. Charlie was also creepy as hell. That's, that Charlie wasn't was his creepy. name in the movie. Oh, it was Frank. Frank. Which, I, I don't see the correlation in the names it, they, there, I but. think they were just doing, like, dad names. Oh, and then instead of Billy Black, it was Bobby White, and it was a white man from the Mindy Project. Yes, it was Ike Burbazetta from the Mindy Project. And the way I was like, this feels not okay, but also highly hilarious. It was, oh man, it was... Uh, it was good it was good and well it's also funny too because he's like the same age as all the teenagers in this movie so you're like how do you have a teenage son yeah oh a teenage grandson (laughs) no that's supposed to be a son oh okay well at least in the movie in the yeah in twilight that's his son oh i didn't know someone needs to go back and do their reading of the source material absolutely not I know what Bacol is doing this weekend. Not that. (laughs) (laughs) But I would just like to point out that all the absurd things that Bacol and I are telling you about, there was a lot of money put into this movie. Like, we don't have the number, but it looked good. It looked good. And I was like, somebody gave them money to do this. Yes. Like, I'm, I have so many questions. Yes. But I also am so happy that it exists. Yes. But also, like, the first half, I would say, if you want, like, a fun parody of Twilight, that's definitely the first half. And then it gets a little unhinged just because they're trying to t- like tie in Twilight and New Moon. And yeah. then something that I was disappointed about is I, w- I was actually enjoying this like shot for shot parody of it. Yeah. And I was like looking forward to the scene in Portland where she gets, you know, chased down by people and Edward comes and saves her. And I was looking forward. I was really looking forward to the vampire baseball game just because it's such an iconic scene because it's it's ridiculous. Like it's great and it's ridiculous. And I was like, oh, they could have so much fun with this one. Um, and that all got cut. In, in their defense, the baseball scene it does nothing. That's true. Also, they do hit homeboy's head off with a baseball bat. That's true. So they gave you, so they what, still you, gave they me gave the, what you wanted. They gave me the baseball bat twirl. Yes. The fun part about it is being in a room with people that do like Twilight a lot. And they're like, oh my gosh, this is shot for shot. And I'm sitting there like, is it? She knew it I, was. No, I didn't. And there were some of them where I was like, okay, I was like, oh, now they're mixing in New Moon and blah, blah, blah. But I wasn't um, too hung up on 
towards the end because I was like, this is already That's absurd. True. She was able to enjoy it. Enjoy, yeah. Whereas like me and Francesca were like, oh, well, this is different. Oh, well, this is, yeah. oh, okay. They were like, we actually just want to watch Twilight now. <laughs> like that was what they said. No, that is what Francesca said. Francesca did say this. I was like, having a great time. want to watch this. Yeah. I wanted all four books in one. I, yes. I was like, try to, I want to, because the movie is only what, an hour and a half long? I think so. It's and very I, short. <laughs> it's very short. And they fit two movies into that. That's over, over 500 pages of That's book a into a 90 minute movie I, with craziness. I think they could have done it because I was just in Vegas this weekend and this will tie in also to Twilight. Okay. But I was just in Vegas this weekend and, uh, Carrie and Sasha actually surprised James and I with tickets to Potted Potter. Yeah. Which is all seven books of uh-huh. Harry Potter in yep. 70 minutes. But there was one moment where they were like making a joke. They were like, Oh, you know, we could take the last book and split it into two movies and then we'll take the Hobbit and split it into three movies <laughs> and then we'll take the Twilight saga. And I went, Woo! And he went, and we'll burn them. And then everyone <laughs> turned and looked at me. And I was like, oh. I'm so sorry. I left so, so I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Julia, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to laugh at your pain like that. Uh, yeah, okay, it was ahead, painful. And then there was another, they made like a teacher joke. And I don't know. I was trying to be res- like, you know, responsive and, you know, give them. So I like, meant, like, I went like, oh, like, da da da. And they were like, I guess I sounded really offended because they were like, oh, sorry, we didn't mean to, like, say that. And afterwards, one of the guys next to us was like, oh, I just have to ask, you know, based off your action, what, uh, what, do, you teach? what do you teach? And I wanted to be like, first off, sir, I am 18 years old. <laughs> so, no, but I had to be like, I was like, oh, I, I don't. I'm not a teacher. I was, I was just trying to be a good audience member. <laughs> You're like, I'm just trying to support. I was just trying to support. But I'll, I bring that up mostly, one, because of, you know, the Twilight spotlight that was put on me. That and then funny. two, because if they were able to do seven books in 70 minutes, That's why theater. couldn't they do four That's books theater. in an hour and a half? That's theater. Yeah, but they got movie magic on this. No, but people that go to movies want to see more visual things. People that go to theater want a story. This is true. This was also a two-man show in Vegas. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? They're there for spectacle. They're like, we're in this together. We played a game we're of gonna Quidditch. We're going to make it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, that was cool. No. But anyway. Anyway. Oh I digress. God. I digress. Um, Some standout moments that had Bacola cackling were when <laughs> they were recreating the uh, Edward saving Bella from the truck scene. Oh, my god! And the truck is coming so slowly. Yes. And, you know, Edward runs in front of her and the truck is still slow slowly coming so he runs grabs uh the guy eric from the from twilight but he's called Derek in this one <laughs> and he uses him as like a human shield against the uh the yeah. truck and just like cracks his neck bones cracks his arm oh, bones yeah. and this kid is over there screaming and edward and bella are just making staring at each other staring other's, looking at each other's love eyes. ridiculous absolutely ridiculous we didn't get okay. you know what i wanted i wanted vampire sucks version of you better hold on tight, spider monkey. Oh, god! I was waiting for that. But I was waiting for it to be something ridiculous, like, you better hold on tight, you leech, or something. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, my gosh. What really... What Another thing that I really liked is that, you know, the scenes where he's, like, running through the woods with Bella on oh his back? Oh, my God. These are absurd. You don't, you don't see the bottom half of his body, so it doesn't look like he's running. It looks like he's gliding. Yeah, it, first it looked him. stupid, and Bacola was mad. Bacola was like, was like so okay, dumb. come yeah, on. because it looked dumb in the original movies. They could have made it better. <laughs> <laughs> so then he turns a corner and he's on a Segway. And she and lost. I love it. I love that. I love Segways. I just thought that that was a great... But Colt's getting rid of her car and getting a Segway. I'm I mean, especially in LA, that parking situation... My car Clutch. is already basically a clown car. So, like, I park it everywhere as it is. Sometimes I put it in my pocket. But, like, if it gets smaller. <laughs> I feel like buddy. next time I see you, you're going to be riding a Razor scooter. You're oh like, oh, I can just fold it. Bro, I, if, I could, if I could safely ride around on an electric scooter, like, I would. I just know that I am significantly safer in a car. That's fair. Yeah. I, I'm very I uncoordinated really, on those. Yeah. I really wanted a Vespa at one point, and my father was like, <laughs> I wanted a motorcycle. I was like, a Vespa is basically a, a, win- a flimsy motorcycle. Yeah. I feel like that's more dangerous. I was going to get a Vespa because my dad said I couldn't get a motorcycle because he used to have a motorcycle, and I tried to get one. <gasps> yeah. And he was like, absolutely not. And then... Um, and then I thought about getting one but last let's be year. Honest, and my how fast are people driving in not. New York? Like, that's why your dad had a motorcycle, because you go, like, two miles No, out. he had a motorcycle in Nigeria. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is when traffic my, crazy there? When my siblings were younger, it's just cheaper to have a motorcycle than a car. 
It was it, we, the country was the third war country. No, but I mean, like, I just mean in terms of safety. Oh, it's not safe. Oh. Not safe at all. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was not about that life anymore. He had three kids at the point. So at that point, so my mom was like, mm, "All right." <laughs> it's just like it's maybe time. we change up your identity. Yeah, maybe we stop this. And he wasn't doing it to be a cool kid. That's what that was yeah, all of yeah. their forms of transportation. No, that's fair. That's fair. And I, well, I yeah. feel like it must be safer if everybody is in the same. Why are we talking about no? The, the, yeah, sorry. We sorry, got Nigeria. So we're just discussing if you know if your country should be cars or motorcycles. It's, but well, um, they weren't all motorcycles. But anyway, not the point. <laughs> So w- some other things that were really good about this we movie. So off topic. I, we did. We really just off the topic. So some other things, some things that were really good about the movie that you enjoyed. That um, I like that, how we're narrate, narrating each other's enjoyment of this. No, I was no, like, this is what Pacola liked. No, no, no. I wasn't even. I wish I I was a better friend that was paying attention to what you liked oh. during the movie, <laughs> but I wasn't. I, this was a question. Oh, but, oh, um, oh! I'm sorry. I thought you were no, going no. to inform me. I was ready for it. No, no, no. Because I have no idea. Because I that was just it was ridiculousness on ridiculousness. <laughs> so what is something what is something that was really fun for you? Like something enjoyable for you. Oh gosh. That is like that kind of maybe open your eyes to something hilarious or strange about vampire culture. Oh gosh. Well I totally called it on them not talking about like garlic. Mm-hmm. Um they did not. I think in vampire culture. Hmm. They also did read a tweet by By uh, Stephanie, Stephanie Meyer. <laughs> In the that middle. was actually that was funny. It was, it was funny. like it was like girls like vampires because they're scared, like they have apprehension about losing their virginity, and they know a vampire will never have sex with them, or like something, something like that. Something ridiculous. Like it that. was it was a lot to piece together. Yeah, and I was just like, what? What did they let you do that? Like, um, so. what what did it teach me? Something that you just found funny. It doesn't have to. Teach oh, something anything. I just it's found just like, funny. It's like, oh, that is strange about vampire culture, because <laughs> I find it all strange. So, like, I'm wondering if this opened your eyes to anything. Well, this was so absurd. Yeah, because being watching vampire movies is not absurd. What? What? Are you calling me weird now? Yes. You watch them with me. I didn't say I wasn't weird. Okay, that's it's not fair. mutually exclusive. I was like, as long as we're on the same page about that, <laughs> I was like, where do you think you go while I'm watching these <laughs> movies? Y'all, she is sitting right next to I'm me. I'm right there. My head is in her lap half the time. Dude, like, we're just having a nice time. Having a bonding. nice time. I got some food. Yeah. She wouldn't eat any of it. So I, so I guess I'm I got hungry. some food. Um, why are we on this topic? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to feed people. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize this. This is something that this movie taught me. Apparently, vampires, when you become a vampire, you don't age except for your butt. This- oh, my God. Gosh, his butt was so old. He turned around naked, and all the high school students were laughing at and, him. And this is not Bacola being mean to the actor. This is something no. they said. They were yeah, like, yeah, yeah. "Your I'm butt just gets really, really wrinkly." Really <laughs> and it was so funny. And at one point, he saw a quarter or something on the ground, and he bent down to grab oh. it naked. Why oh, would you do that? Why would you do You're that? rich. You're so You're a rich. vampire. Your butt is wrinkly and out to the world, and now you decided to see a shiny quarter ridiculous oh my god so, so that funny. was a new part of vampire lore that i've never seen before uh, and i and it was hilarious <laughs> it, it was, was hilarious something it was really good um <laughs> it was really good i feel like the characters oh oh i really loved when the werewolf no 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 because they weren't werewolves they were all still human when <gasps> oh they... yes when when so jacob turns into the chihuahua to fight off laurent who has found bella in the woods and yes. he's like about to you know eat her and he shows up and he's a chihuahua and then chihuahua. he's like wow you cannot take me down and he's like good yeah. thing i always travel in packs and then i'll let you take over yes so the travel in packs they did a whole dance like number. four hunky like men come out yeah like cut off shorts, shorts with the the t- the tribe tattoos and Bacola goes the- they cut those shorts that, that day because oh. the shorts were like they were levi's jeans <laughs> shorts and some of them had the pockets out some of them didn't like you could tell that like somebody in costumes cut it that day and frayed it and it was hul- not a bad thing like a good thing but it was so like a little bit uncomfortably short but they did a whole dance number distracted laurent to then, it's raining men right i don't even in my mind and it's it's raining men, but I don't even think that I, they had the rights to the. I don't think that were the girls would give them the rights to that. Oh, song. maybe you're right. I don't. I think we just assumed it was it's raining 
Mad, but they just did a dance number. And it was fire. There was, was one really who was cute. putting his whole body roll into Yo, it. It was so good. And I was like, this, and I kept saying, this movie is only 90 minutes. Why do we have full time to watch this? <laughs> Why was this the priority? Like, you know? There were a lot of things like that where we were like, okay, like th- when she gets bit. No, no, no. When he leaves her, when he, he leaves, leaves her, her, we watch her have a like fit on the ground for like five minutes. And Bacola was like, this is only a 90 minute movie. This is a significant percentage of the movie. Of the movie. So just watch this girl writhe around talking about, he left me. Mur, mur, mur. The scariest image of the whole movie was when after he left her, and she was sitting um, <laughs> in her chair, and they were they were doing like the the three sixty oh, yes. of like you know time is past yeah October November December and she was like everything reminded me of Edward and you know every time she looks out the window like all these children are dressed like Edward yeah. and but the one that freaked me out the most was there was a snowman and then the snowman's face morphed into a snow face of edward but with the golden eyes and it was honestly so scary oh, i, I did I not like that. See that how That's so funny i don't know it's gonna show up in my nightmares i'm so sorry when they're talking about the white devil that was it oh my gosh <laughs> i'm so sorry i didn't see that i just saw the dog that they dressed like edward that yeah, was they dressed a dog like Edward, and they kept really putting cute. like puffy wigs on people. I yeah, guess to like to look like to, like the puff front, like the flip up the fl- front, the poof. yeah, the poof front wigs, which is really funny because I didn't realize that that was such a thing. That was such a thing. Oh, also they had a fake cast of the Jersey. Shore. That was so weird. That was random, so random. Random. It was really. It was like when the Collins, or sorry, the Sullins. The were, Sullins. You know, because they, they they didn't copyright it. No, anything. not even in the Sullins. <laughs> um, when the Sullins were walking in, you know, it it shows all of them, and it cuts back to Bella going, "Who are they?" and and Jessica goes. That's Snooky, J Wow, Pauly D. Yeah. And she's like, no, not the cast of the Jersey Shore. And you turn around and there is the said cast. In this high school this, cafeteria. Oh, yeah. In Washington. In Sporks. Sporks. Washington. Cutlery, cutlery drawer. Cutlery drawer. Cutlery drawer town. <laughs> um, but I will say, I did like, I felt like there was a lot of, like, you you kind of had to see Twilight to fully fully enjoy the movie, yeah, but I think you true. could see this without having seen Twilight. Like I think yeah. I don't think you would enjoy it all that much, but I think you'd get the story. You'd get the story. I also think that this is of its time. This is very much a movie <laughs> of its time. Like if I saw this in 2010, I would have been in the theater crying. Yeah, I enjoyed it today because we are up to date on <laughs> vampire stuff, but like at its peak. Bro, I would have lost it. Oh, they I even think. had Buffy make an appearance. They made, yes. She pepper sprays B- Buffy, the vampire slayer, which is hilarious. And honestly um, felt rude. It was pretty funny. But you know what? You're right. It is up the time because isn't that, isn't 2010 when all the scary movies were coming out? Scary yeah. movie one, scary movie two. Well, I would say that scary, the scary movies were, yeah, it was in the, the 2000s. Yeah. Because I have not seen a scary movie because I wasn't allowed to see them. Oh, I wasn't. I don't think I was either. I don't yeah. think I've ever seen one. I don't, I've never seen one either because I was Maybe so I young. I'm just a bit. And we're just, ba- we're like 16 at the time of this recording. So. I was not 16. I was nine. At the time of this recording right now. Oh, this recording. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant back then. <laughs> the math still ain't math. Don't worry about it. Don't ask me questions. <laughs> not you exposing yourself out here. <laughs> I was like, no, not Edward I, style, but I know. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. No, but yeah, it was, it was, that was very much of the times, which is really, which is like the, the pure camp. Yes. The camp, the like, Hat on a hat on a hat. Yeah, and the, the let's squeeze as many jokes in here as we can. Yes. But I will say, in this one, despite the, like, absurdity, the actress playing Becca killed. She like, was she, because she got down so many of the manner, mannerism. I can't speak. N- no, you Mannerisms. Of um, I was, I was, my tongue was trying to say aneurysms. Oh. So I was about to say mannerisms. I was like, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> um, so yeah, she got a lot of Kristen Stewart's mannerisms yes. and it was hilarious. And like, honestly, she was like, good. She was like, good. I, she was enjoyable to watch. And it's very interesting because she was saying some really like crazy stuff. <laughs> But when she was, like, having real moments, she was having real yeah. moments. And even the dude that was playing Edward, I think, same. Like, they yeah. were, like, they were having these really great moments, and then something in them clicked and was like, this is weird. Like, this is absurd. You know what I, I mean? Feel like, I feel like I didn't really get as many real moments from Edward. He he did feel like a caricature for me from mm, beginning to end. Okay. But I it also could have been the makeup. 
because yeah, I put this like thick doughy bad. white on him. Yeah. And but I remember and oh and of course the golden eyes are just always mm-hmm. unnerving. But yeah. I do remember that that was a thing that was an issue in the first like real Twilight movie. They were like everybody was like. The coloring is weird, which we did talk about, yeah. like, as we were watching it. Like, for some reason, the Twilight movie, they just washed just everything blue. in blue. It's just blue. It's called the blue movie. <laughs> it's very strange. And if then... If they were green, they would die. Ay. Ay. Pew, 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 pew. Boom, boom. Um, and then... I don't even know where I was going with it. I got so uh, distracted by that The one. coloring of Oh, the oh, oh. And the makeup. I remember in the first movie too, and you see it in this one. They really highlighted it with his super pale makeup and then super like red pink lips. Yes, and you're like, yeah. what? This yeah. just feels wrong. Like you're like a good looking guy, yeah. But something about this is like, I'm. It, this is scary. I'm, yeah. This is unnerving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's good. Like I, I, I don't know. I like him as an actor. I like saw it. I was like, oh, I know that dude because he was in like a bunch of. Like, That's fair. I liked him, and, and I liked him for what he did in this. Like, I'm not even saying he's bad. Yeah, I'm just saying just like, like it was a caricature, yeah, but that's, that's what true. he was hired to do. Yes. So it's not like, oh, it was a caricature, but this was like yes. three billboards. This was he was a caricature, and this was vampires Vampire suck. Was, yeah, <laughs> and it, you know, it was I, I, I think everyone took their job seriously, which is fantastic. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. The actors, not all of the actors knew that they were like not all of the actors were. Like winking at the camera jokingly, right? You know what I mean. I, actually, I don't think any. Of I don't them think were, any of them were, which is really awesome because then we get to laugh. The only one, and it was intentional, yes. is they had the guy who played Jacob like take off his shirt, take off his shirt, and then look and you know hold up the contract that said he had to take his shirt off every ten minutes, and then he <laughs> looked at the camera. And it was funny because actually that scene just reminded me when he did that thing where he like held up and was like, you know, here's my contract. It awoke a memory of seeing commercials for this movie. Like and, trailers yes, for this movie uh-huh. when we were and younger. He was never in a shirt. Poor Taylor Lautner. No, I, no, no. I meant of this movie, of Vampire oh. Suck. Like I actually remember seeing ads for it. Oh, what? and never. But I was probably like PG thirteen, and I was, you know, not yeah, not because <laughs> I was, I was, I was the the it peak did. twelve when the tw- when Twilight came out. Mm. Um, but yeah, but no, yeah. Also in in the New Moon, Jacob never has a shirt on. Poor guy, man. I know he was cold. <laughs> he talks about being cold. Does he really? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And interviews. Because I was, I'm very into like actor interviews. Because I'm like, what did y'all really do? Because I know it looks good on the other end, but like, I want to know what the experience was like. Because I, at that time, I was like, I, I was acting, but I wasn't acting at that level. So I was just like, what, what was that experience like? He was like, I was so cold. I was always so cold. Oh and God. even Kristen was like, yeah, we'd be sitting there and Taylor would have no shirt on and, uh, uh, freaking, What's the name? And I would be looking at him like, dang, sorry, bro. Because they actually filmed in a, like, cold place. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and he never had, and he had to look like he wasn't cold. Yeah. That was the worst part. I like, would be yeah. chattering my teeth. You would you would die. Oh, yeah. I would struggle so hard, You would hard, be out bro. immediately. Mm-hmm. Can't do it. I'm like, I'm It'd like, have to give you a fake skin and then put heat pads in the fake skin. In the skin. fake skin, yeah. So, I don't know why you would be top. Well, maybe a bikini, like, if you were in, like, a... Yeah. Summer. Ooh, and then they could put the heat pads where my abs should be. <laughs> so I wouldn't have to do sit-ups. That's so smart. Julia. You're welcome. Wow. You're welcome. Thank you so much. I really, yeah. Really I, made that happen. Okay. Now. I don't feel like I can be held accountable for that. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, out of, uh, I, the, we gotta, what's the actual measurements? Cause I know the we're Bacoulas. calling, no, they're not. Stop it. Okay. What are, out of five, what would you give this? Uh, five bites? Five bites. Yeah. How many bites would you give? Five Bacola bites? Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For as many Bacola bites as I give it, I will give Bacola those bo- Stop it. Um, I don't know. It was so weird. And I do think, I think I'm going to go with a 2.5. Wow. I'm going to give it a 50% because if you've never seen Twilight, you will absolutely hate it. If you've seen Twilight, you will still be confused, but you'll laugh. Yeah. Yeah. 2.5. I'm going to give it a four. Whoa. I'm, I give it very high marks. It said this movie was going to suck. The movie <laughs> did suck. I feel not lied to. It, Nothing said the movie was going to suck. It said the it vampires, vampires were going to suck. suck. And they did. Several times. <laughs> Ken Jung was in it. He was fantastic. Oh, my God. There was actually... There was a lot of people we recognized. The girl from... and I, uh, So, Annalise was in it. Ken yeah. Jung was in it. Uh-huh. Um, and I don't know her name, but the actress from John Tucker Must Die. Yes, she was in it. She played Victoria. Girl. Yeah, uh-huh. But, which was... There was a really funny joke about her getting recast. Yes. 
halfway through the movie. Um, uh, that was so was rude. The dad from Wizards of Waverly Place. Oh, yes. Oh, the, uh, the guy from the Mindy Project. The guy from the Mindy Project. My favorite was, part about the Wizards of Waverly Place <laughs> while uh, Becca is sleeping. She says, I got a DVR Wizards of Waverly Place. <laughs> Which is my favorite thing that's ever happened. But also, what a mark of the times. Yeah. DVR. I know. Yes. Not that Now it's just watch. on Hulu. Yeah. Or Netflix. Or, yeah. Oh, man. I wish actors were, and writers and directors were getting residuals. Oh, me too. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, um, residuals are, <laughs> I'm not even going to explain this. They're here. like royalties. They're royalties, yes. For work that you've done that people are still getting to enjoy. Those residuals now go to the higher ups that have received millions of dollars already. So honk when you pass Netflix, please. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I I thoroughly enjoyed it. Like I, we went in and went. What would be a great uh, season finale for <laughs> a, a, for season three of season this three, show? Season three, baby. What would be great? What would be light? I don't want to be scared today. I really want to just have a good time. And I refuse to watch another uh, Twilight until we bring in your friend. So this was it. And I'm thoroughly pleased with our decision. The rent price was on sale. It was marked yeah. down a whole dollar. It was, Yeah, because I had the, the mm -hmm. random... I had random... So um, we, we really felt like this was a sign yeah. from the universe. It was a sign from the universe. I, I, I We paid two whole dollars for two this. Two whole dollars. It's two whole dollars well spent. I agree. I had a great time. I agree. I, I know. I enjoyed it. And it's funny because there were... Truly, the only trope was drinking blood. Because they didn't even really have super speed because they were on segways. They could jump. They could jump far. They, and they had jump. strength. They did, he did have super speed because when he was in her room and like ran to the other side to do something. Oh, did he? Yeah. They had super speed. Okay. Even he when just they, chose to ride a segway. Yeah. <laughs> and when they had that terrible joke about Chinese food and they threw that guy into the house. <laughs> yeah. They ran to him really quickly. Yeah. That's true. Um, yeah. And the joke about Chinese food was just, it was during the birthday party when Bella gets her paper cut and, you know, Edward is trying to fight off his family from eating Bella mm -hmm. and somebody knocks Becca. on the door and it's a, oh, sorry, Becca. It's a, a Chinese food delivery guy and Edward takes the Chinese food and throws the delivery guy into to the his house. family and, and they, they devour him. And they just, they attack. Yeah. They go ham. They do. They go chicken. They go rice. <laughs> um... <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, no, okay, that's fair. I fair. I feel like yeah, if you if you go into it knowing what it is, absolutely, I'd give it. I'd still give it like a three point five. It's not like it's not great. There was so it's much not perfection, but dumb it was, uh, yes, humor. It was great for me right now in this moment. Like it was a very like it's what we needed. On, we've had a long week. We yeah. were tired. We yeah. like talked for an hour before we remembered yes. that we were here to record a podcast. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I'm just supporting you. Go ahead. No, 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 this. no. I was laughing at us. Oh yeah, I was yeah, laughing yeah. at us, being like, "Oh yeah, yeah, we gotta do that." Also, it was my birthday last week. It was, it's, so it's, it's, I was enjoying Bacola. Um, Bacola drove herself crazy and got me a gift card to a bookstore, even though she constantly complains about how many books I have because I do. she loves me. I do. She loves me. I do. Thank you. You're welcome. So if anybody has any good vampire book recs, Ooh, girls got to, money to buy them now. Send them to bitemethepodcast at gmail.com. Or DM us at bitemethepodcast. Wow, we made it to three seasons. Can you believe this? I'm super proud of us. I am too. I We would lo also love, thank you so much for like sticking with us too. We would love some recommendations. Um, if you have other vampire shows or movies we should be watching. We've got some guests in mind for season four and yes. they're bringing us some awesome ideas. So yeah. stick around for that. Yeah. Bacola and Julia are finally getting their shit together and are releasing the videos on youtube yes, we i think are. there's like three up yay you know we have 30 episodes and three videos because we're we're okay we're progress we are yes progress but you know we're it's tired a, ladies yeah and we're doing this all on our own we are but you know it's a podcast so i'm glad that the, the auditory experience is the the primary one and we're excited to uh keep you company in whatever you're doing right now and thanks you thanks wow <laughs> wow Thank you for giving us a reason to just watch these movies. I mean, it's our moms listening, and we're okay with that. That's okay. Yeah. We forget to call home sometimes. Yeah, but now so we they just know send we're okay. the new link. <laughs> 
We're like, here's a new link. Thanks, guys. It was actually so sad. My dad called me. I was at work the other day, and I couldn't answer because I was at work. Mm -hmm. And I texted him. I was like, is everything okay? He was like, oh, yeah, something on your podcast just made me laugh. And I was like, ah, see? That's sweet. Now I don't have to call home this week. (laughs) They listened to the podcast. They heard that I was alive and kicking. Randy was like, let me check in on her. That was good. I'm curious which one he listened to because the last one we released was Renfield with James. Oh. And like. We did not let him speak. No, not even in the I like I cut hands. a bunch of our stuff. I did not cut a single um hmm from him th- from him because I was like, we just need we need more content. We need That's more real. content from That's our guests. Real. I was well, just we're like, gonna let them talk, we promise. Yeah. But he was just talking so quietly. You know? What? It was bad for editing. Oh yes. <laughs> wow. He also n- knew. He's been around us. Yeah, yeah. He was just guy. like, I think he was just, no, he He's was just having a great time. There. He was like, oh, Julie and Bacola are doing their thing. And we're like, la, 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 yeah. la, la, He fed both of us. It was nice. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> bought us food. <laughs> yeah, shout out to James. Bacola bought tickets to the wrong show. It, are we going to bring this up again? Yeah, because it's really Golly. funny. I'm oh, sorry. But she's here now. I'm here now. She's here now. Um, But thank you guys so much. And if you guys have any recommendations, let us know. If you have any thoughts or anything like that, we'd love to hear them. Unless they're mean, then keep oh, them to yourself. Keep them to yourself. And uh-huh. if they come in the form of monetary compensation, <laughs> double it and then send it again. Yes. Um, but thank you guys so much for checking us out. Uh, we are going to be back in season four whenever we decide. Yeah. Uh, we'll probably have a little production meeting on that soon to yeah, figure out our lives. Definitely. Um, but this has been Bite Me, produced by players, performers, and portrayers. You can learn more about Bite Me by following us on Instagram at Bite Me the Podcast. And you can check out more about players, performers, and portrayers at players, performers, and portrayers dot com. Bye. Bye. Oh, no, sorry. Dot com. My name is Julia Steyer. I'm Bacola Ogunmola. Bye. Bye.